everybody. Welcome back to the Yarn Necklaces channel. I am here in Orlando with my family. There's my sister Hi. Julie and Woo! Sydney. There they are. Hi. And then we have my brother-in-law over here, Nick. And there are two boys over there on the couch playing games. <laughs> so we are going to have a fun video today. My sister and I are going to put some makeup on and then we are going to make some friendship bracelets. So we will see you soon. Oh, Julie, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, well, I am a sales director with Mary Kay, so I keep people beautiful and happy. <laughs> nice. So we need to put our makeup on, right? That's right. I'm going to use this color. Ooh. That's, what color is this? Oh, it doesn't have a name. Oh, Berry Delight. It's brand new. Yes. She's the first to try it. <laughs> well, second, because you tried it first. Oh, well. <laughs> I try everything first. That's right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting Janelle extra glamorous with a few fun things. We're going to do a liquid eyeshadow. This one's called Pink Starlight. So close your eyes. We're just going to put a little tap here and here, and it'll give her a little shimmer. And then we're going to use a, an eyeshadow brush to smooth it around. We're using a synthetic bristles. And you can see it just gives her a little sparkle. So not too crazy for a summer beachy vacation that we're on right now. I guess we're not beachy, but you know, it's kind of a, feels like it with all the rain, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> feels hot enough for a beachy vacation. Yeah, exactly. Then we are gonna do some quick mascara. This is the new Fanorama mascara. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Extra lashes, it has um, like a curved barrel to it, so it's like an hourglass shape. Okay, so you're gonna look at my shoulder. Okay. And we're gonna start at the tips of the lashes and pull out. This gives lots of volume and length. So, and you can do multiple coats with this mascara. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. You're doing great. Thanks. Excellent model. Okay, <laughs> let's see the difference. Oh my gosh, look in the... Oh, wow. Right. My eyelashes. Such extras. Okay. <laughs> Let's do one more coat on that eye. <laughs> Sydney's making faces at me. She's <laughs> very excited. Oh, I got a little bit under here, which we do not want. We're going to let that dry and then use a little Q-tip and pick that off. Yes. Sydney, go find me a Q-tip in my makeup bag, please. Okay. Look at that shoulder. Okay. And I'm going to add some mascara to this eye. This is a, oops, oh, sorry, that's okay. Lash Love formula with this special brush. And you can also curl your lashes before. Do this. That's just one coat. Oh, fun. Look at the difference between one coat and two coats. Ooh. All right. So we don't mind getting a little sloppy because you can just take a q tip and just flick it off like that. Except this q tip is dirty from my makeup bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Cindy, why don't you grab me a little Kleenex? Okay. Okay. Let's do one more coat on this other okay. side. Look here at my shoulder. Okay, maximum right. lashes. Ooh, guys, look at my eyelashes. All right, and then let's get this off here. Just do a little flick. It can come off. We can also dip this into my makeup remover to take it off. But it usually just kind of picks right off just like when you use glue. That's pretty good. Nice. We'll fix that with a little eye makeup remover. And then Sydney has, Sydney. Uh oh, she lost, she can't, she uh She got escaped. lost in the bedroom. Yeah. Here we go. Kleenex is for stuff. Thank you. <laughs> and we're just gonna do some quick bronzing powder because when you are on vacation, you want a little, you want a little extra color. So we're gonna tap on it like this, give it a shake. And we're just gonna do a little bit here, a little bit here. 
sweeping it up by her eyes to kind of frame her face, then a little bit on her forehead and her nose. You don't want to bronzing powder your whole face because then you will look very bronzy everywhere and maybe a little orange. We don't want that. So we're going to take a little pop of the pink, put it on the tip of my brush, tap on it, and just putting it right on the apples of her cheeks. So she just looks like she's naturally glowing. Yeah. And voila, Janelle Here I am. is all made up and ready to do friendship bracelets. <laughs> here we go, guys. So here we are, ready to make our friendship bracelets. I'm here with my sister, Julie. Hi. And my niece, Sydney. Hi. <laughs> and we have picked out our colors. Actually, I'm making this one for my brother-in-law, Nick, because um, I already made one. And this is mine here, and I'm going to show you how to make it adjustable. And you don't have to. You can always just tie it in a knot if you don't have, um, this is like a pony bead. But um, I'll show you how to make it adjustable, too, if you want to do that. And Julie hasn't made one since we were little kids. And I just showed Cindy how to make one just earlier, so she knows how to do it. Sure. So we'll have to. Show us it. Yeah. Show us your bracelet. And I made this one. Yeah. So beautiful. And how many do you want to make? A whole armful. Oh, yes. That'll An be... armful. <laughs> That'll be so fun. Yeah. All right. So first we need to cut our threads. And I don't have a ruler with me, but we are going to just like use our arm to measure. <laughs> That's what I did before. How much do we need in arms? Um, yeah, a little, let's do a little bit longer than an arm's length because I did it on this one, like an arm, and it was like so how, way, like not way too short, like this, but it was like a little short one? to tie it in a knot. Um, let's see oh. how long it is. Take this. Arms length. Arm. I'd say like from your hand to your neck. Oh shoot. Just a little bit. I gotta get a shorter neck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> shorter neck. Shorter, shorter arm. Shorter or longer arm. piece of string. Is that okay? If that's not long enough. That should yeah, well maybe make it a little bit longer. Cause you could well, you could probably use that. It's just gonna be harder to tie it and not at the end. So like okay. just kinda lay them out. I need this thing. So you need a big table. Yeah, yeah we do need a big table. Yeah, maybe go that direction. What, my yeah. direction? It's stuck to me. Damn! This is all not going to be straight, is that okay? That's good enough for me. Okay, now what do I do? Then, we're going to fold it in half like this. Uh, and how then, do you do that? Um, hang on, I'll show them. Fold it in half, and then you're going to leave a bit of a tail because you're going to want to tie this in a knot at the end. So I have probably about four or five inches here, which is probably a good length. may even want just a little bit more. So we're going to tie a knot like right about here. If you guys can hear that, that's Noah. <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah, they're being tacky. Okay, so like right there, there. Pull it in half. Yeah. That's a good place yeah. for the knot. Okay. So, the better you can keep it in line, then it'll be better at the top. I think mine got a little tangled up. So probably about here we want to tie it. Okay, now we're ready to tape it down. And I only brought like this cheap clear tape. But cheap, it'll work. cheap, cheap, cheap um, clear tape. Let me show you guys how to tape it down. Um, if you have strong tape, that's good. Or um, you can also use like a little clipboard and then just clip it onto there. Just something to hold it down while you're working with it. So you can put tape like this, and then you can also like wiggle it around the tape like this to hold it in place a little bit better. And then put another piece of tape over it. Yes, push it down really hard. There we go. Separate all these, and they're actually like, since you doubled it up, they're in like loops. So we're just going to pull it apart like this and 
and you're gonna have five you have five different colors so there's gonna be five loops And this one's kind of twisted here. That's better. So the better you can untwist it up here, the better it'll look at the very top. Okay. So I'm gonna show Julie how to start this since she has them all sorted out. So you're gonna put that one on that index finger and then that one on your middle finger. And then you're going to use your other hand for these. So you can put your orange one, yeah, on that index finger, green one on the middle finger, and yellow one on the ring finger. Ah! <laughs> and then from there, the, the hand that has only two of them on there, you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to go through the bottom one here. Let's see if I can show you this way, yeah. And then, yeah, take your ring finger, go through the bottom one, and then through the middle one. And then you're going to pull, yeah, over, and then pull it all the way through. Yes, exactly. Then it's I move coming back up. to you. Yeah, you move those two fingers up. So, yeah. Same thing. And you pull it like this? Tighter? Yeah, it can make it tighter. Uh huh. So now I move these up. Move those two up. Uh -huh. This finger's in action. Right. And through right that there. one, through that one, and hang on one second. Before you do that, do put your finger through there again. Uh -huh. So when we, I was showing Sydney, we realized that um, like it was starting to separate up here. We couldn't figure out what was going wrong. What she did, she used this finger and pulled this bottom one. So you don't mm. want to pull it this way. You want to pull it from the top. So pull it this it actually, way, not this way. Exactly. Because when this you way. do that, it makes like a little hole. So it's actually separating them. If you do it the wrong way. Mm. Hmm. I think it's because when you pull it from the top, it like kind of twists. Yeah. So that it keeps it all together. Twisting. This would be hard if you had seven. I know. That's what I was thinking. So let's see how Sydney's doing. Wait, Did you... this, this one's not like going right. Oh, all right. So I'm going to keep trying over again. Well, let's start over. Okay, well, we'll put this back on so we can see everybody. All right, so we are all working on our friendship bracelets. Yes. And yes. Julie is winning. Because <laughs> she got a head start. She did get a head start. I did get a head start. Yeah. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Right. I have a piece of hair tangled in mine. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that in there. No. No, because it's for daddy. <laughs> it is. He doesn't like it. Nobody would like it. It's a bit of a challenge with long nails. Oh, I bet. Yeah, this is fun. Yes. Yeah. Remember doing this when we were kids? I do. I remember the other one that you would not. Yeah. That thing took forever. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a rug. Um, Nick, Antonelli's making you your bracelet. I guess you are friends after all. We are. I'm infusing mine with magic cooling properties. <laughs> David and Nick are going to fight over it now. <laughs> I suppose you could get it wet and put it in the freezer. Oh, yeah. That would be cooling. At the end, am I going to weave my fingers together? Yep. <laughs> no, actually, um, you don't need to go all the way down because we're going to make it adjustable. So you Okay. Can, I would say... It's like another a more, inch. Yeah. Mine is a little shorter than yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Since my hand to neck ratio was off. Mom, the boys can would you like start buying some string? Yes. <laughs> I think you call this floss. Or yeah. Floss. It's um called Same thing. It's called embroidery frock. <laughs> 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 You come here, Eli, and say it. Yeah. Tell tell the tell the video. Tell our friends. Tell it's called embroidery floss. Yeah. Embroidery floss. Yes. And I got this on Amazon. Tell them in the video. It's called embroidery floss. <laughs> you can't even say it. It is hard to say. You I say know it. it is. Tell it. Tell them. Say it for real. That's for real how I said it. No, say it for real. Really. 
you need to say for you. Oh my gosh. That is that a kid for ya. Yeah. yeah. That's mom for you. Nobody does. Maybe you don't need to Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. either. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> you having fun over the year? I yeah. I'm still I over am. this. Everybody's ahead of me. That's all right. Everyone's oh, you're doing great. Ahead of yeah. Me. Those colors are gorgeous. I know I am. Oh, thank you. Ow. I know. Kind of reminds me of Frozen. I know. <gasps> Ooh. Doesn't it? Yes. I know. Have you seen at least Frozen One? Of course. I have Frozen One on Blu-ray. I yes. have Frozen One and Two on DVD. Oh. And TV. Nice. I've seen some of Frozen 2. I didn't finish it. Why? Because oh it was getting late. Well, keep watching it. <laughs> it's not well, always late. It was late. like 3 in the morning. Oh, my. You were making too many friendship races that day. <laughs> Maybe I was. <laughs> this is probably long enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. So let me show you what to do. Yeah, do that yeah. and I'm pretty measure sure. it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, because you don't have it have it all the way too long. Let's just check. I'm gonna rip it off the table. Yeah, do that. Yeah, because you want a little bit of enough to tie it right. here, and otherwise it's gonna be hard to tie it. And then what does the knot? The bead look like it looks like this. No, you can like show me on your on your bracelet. Oh, here. okay. Can it be around the knot part? No, you put it. You put it at the end. Mm -hmm. So I probably want this less. I know. Um, I should do a little less. Un un can not undo it. it. Yeah. Can I undo it? I'm sure it can be undone. So I'm gonna try this out. This is one um, Sydney made earlier. Mm -hmm. And I use I cut off two of the embroidery flosses. Let me say it correctly that time, mm -hmm. and and then threaded it through because I thought it would be too tight with like all all of the threads. But I think oh no yeah. yeah I think that's probably good tension because I cut out five of mine and mine's like super loose, so it, it kind of like doesn't stay. Mm. So I think if you keep eight of the ten threads. I think that's the perfect tension right there. If you have this, all of them, then be too much. I don't know. It might be. Maybe we should try all of them on yours and see what we yes. think. Yes. Let's experiment. Yeah. Let's do it. But if it doesn't work out, you can always make another. Well, we can just cut the little threads if it won't go through the bead. Okay, that's good. And I made a little... I just cut a little piece of the floss and then put a little bit of clear nail polish on the end to make it like kind of pointy and then we, I used it to thread the embroidery floss through the bead kind of like a little needle threader oh I see what you're doing because I didn't bring my wire right so okay I'm ready for the bead or if you have a better way to do it then leave me a comment below I'd like to know yeah. Yes. Me too. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go like this. Oh. oh well. <laughs> <laughs> or not. So just put it under there and put these two together. And string that through. And then you could string it through here. And pull that through. Okay. So we got it on one side, and then we're going to put it on the other side, like this, and then you could kind of fold mm, the thread down. Yeah, we're trying to make room in here. And then thread it through the top part. I think get it'll work. In there, get in there. Yes. Here we go. Use these nails for something. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. I think this is a good tension, too. I like that. So then we just want to tie a knot on the end. So let's. Pull this as tight as it can since it's a little short, but it should be fine. 
just to tie a knot over it. Just a little tricky. Get all these threads through. All the colors. You too, orange. That's right. Then you just kind of slide. I'm just sliding the knot up to the ends so that way we can have it a little bit longer. Okay, and then this other one should be a little bit easier since it's longer. How long does it need to be? Do you want to put it on? Yeah. So let's go like this. I do. <laughs> I do really good. So, and then if you want to take it off, it needs to be and we, oh, that green thread is short. Oh, we'll probably just trim that one then. Okay, so this one was too short. So then you can just chop That was that the first off. one you made, right? Yeah, that was my, my non-length arm. Okay, so... You probably going? just make it the same size as the other yeah, one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Auntie, look at mine. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you're going to catch up to me. Oh, yes. It's looking awesome. Can I go? So yeah. Try and put it like right here so it's even. Mm, that's a good idea. So let's do that. Then we can just trim this excess off. And other side. You're doing great. Thanks. I would love to make a thousand more. <laughs> well, maybe not tonight. Dang it. We can try. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of super glue uh, on top of the knot so it doesn't come untied. And don't get this on your fingers because they will get glued together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know how you're going to take them off, but you would have to cut your skin. Ouch. Oof. We do not want to do that. Yeah. So just don't do it. Yeah. Ask a parent to help you. Yeah. If you are a child, ask a parent. Yes. To help you with. All of the parts. Yeah. Mm hmm Because they will help you. Yes. I would let that dry for at least like 15 minutes or something. Because Sydney's took a little longer to dry than other things. That Sounds I've used good. With super glue. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for being in my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not done yet. I'm not I'm either, Sydney. I gotta finish up mine. Time. Or Nick's. Hopefully you have enough thread for a billion, Auntie. Mm, well, if not, we can always order more on Amazon. Yeah. Yes. Let us I heard they were cheap. Yeah, they are. Julie, show how much thread we got. Oh, we have this bag, this much, and those were the reject colors for now. <laughs> and we have all of these, and we have these, and we have this, and then this little pile. Yeah, I can't here. remember how many colors it was. It's probably at least it looks like fifty. Yeah, I'd say fifty. Yeah. And it was only like seven dollars, I think. Ten for wow. shipping. Even That's without great. Amazon Prime. That's great. Yeah. I'll get your next colors ready, Sydney. Or maybe it maybe I had it order. Make sure they're fancy. Okay. No <laughs> ugly colors. Uh oh. Those are ugly. <laughs> Here's a fall barn assortment. Ugly. Yeah. I think that's kind get of fun, actually. Like, yeah. Good for fall. It is a nice combination mm -hmm. for fall. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't even. Oh, Christmas we could theme. Put charms Ooh. on them, but I didn't bring charms. So that's an option, too, if you guys want to I put also, a charm on them. I also think that color is good for an option. The, oh, definitely. This yeah. one is keep, ocean. Keep the Christmas one because I'm going to make a Christmas one and an ocean one. Okay. And I think then. Ocean for the night. Definitely ocean. You should make an inkwit. Yeah. But you're going to make them. Hansel, my inkwit. Right. You have to fill up my whole body with those. Oh. Bracelets. <laughs> we should have a friendship waist Whoa. bracelet. Oh, a friendship <laughs> belt? <laughs> <laughs> wow. A friendship belt? That's kind of fun. Yeah, that's creative. You I know what would be really like interesting? That, you could make... Uh, five strands like this, belt size, and then you could use this to make um, the weaving of it. Oh, yeah. That would be a good belt. That would be a good belt. You'd have to make this tr double belt size, though. Yeah. Right? Because you have to double that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm definitely on Sydney's waist, not on my waist. No way. <laughs> I think that's.
that's probably about good for Nick. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I actually, I, I actually good. don't okay. want a waste thing. I just want oh, to build up that's, to my end. We'll go too we much. Already, we already boycotted it. Oh, see, I'm <laughs> getting tired. All these, um, all these. Whoa, it's very sticky. Uh, maneuvers. I'm getting good guess. Special guest. Oh, a special guest? Yes. What's that? You'll see. Okay. Mm, I have an idea who the special guest will be. Good. Do you know? Mm, I. Oh, I did not know. Oh, that. I knew. Oh, I can't wait to meet this special guest. Yeah. Nobody knows about it. <laughs> Nobody loved to see it. Okay, ready? Ready, One, ready. One, two, three. for joining us, E.T. He's 30-something dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you can find him at Universal Studios, on the E.T. ride, or at the gift shop. He's very cute. Yeah. And then I have another E.T., which I can't show you. I'm going to go show you guys the other E.T. that I have that are friends. Okay. Finished. Wow. We did it. All three bracelets. I was wearing mine already. Yes. I'm back with the other E.T. Woo! Oh. This is the other E.T.'s pillow or blanket. I'm not sure. Pillow, probably. Yeah. And then this is my baby E.T. Oh, hi, E.T. So cute. With a jacket. It's a morning E.T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, here's our bracelets. I Yay. hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you like and subscribe and ring the notification bell and leave a comment below if you like this type of video and oh. we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.